and heels. It's good to see you all again. Today I want to talk about the Chanel Classic Flap. Now this is a very popular bag and I know there are tons of reviews available on YouTube but today I want to share with you all the options available for the Chanel Classic Flap and the considerations that you need to have if you're thinking of buying one. I will also share with you three lesser known facts about the Classic Flap and I promise the third one is going to be shocking. So if you are interested, please continue watching the rest of the video. Let's get started. A quick history of the bag before I dive into the different options and considerations. So the Chanel Classic Flap was created when Karl Lagerfeld was creative director of Chanel in 1983. And he reinterpreted the version that Coco Chanel um, created, which is the Chanel 2.55, what he did was two major changes. Number one, he changed the rectangular turn lock into the double C turn lock, which is what you see right here. And he also ran a leather strap through the chains. So he made it a lot more modern. And this is known as the classic flap today. Not to be confused with the 2.55, that is close to the version that Coco Chanel designed. So unknown fact number one is, did you know that this bag is also known as the Chanel 11.12? That's a unique name. I know not many people know about that. Um, it's more commonly referred to as the Chanel Classic Flat. But the reason why it's called Chanel 11.12 is because of the code of the bag. So if you buy this bag in stores, you would see that on the receipt, um, the first couple of digits on the code is A01112. And that is why the bag is also known as 11.12. Consideration number one is color, color of the Chanel Classic flap. So many of you would know that this bag comes in two classic colors. There is the black, and there is beige clair, which is the one that I have right here. So these two are the classic colors. They are in Chanel's permanent collection. For me, when I was buying my very first Chanel bag, I know that many people say black is the way to go for your first bag, but I really liked that beige was less common. I really like that it matches a lot of what I wear. I like to wear white, cream and neutrals and I thought that the beige looked a lot more elegant and that is why I chose this for my first classic flag. Every season, Chanel produces many colors of the bag. Um, this is the other classic flag that I have in teal and I got this from the 2017 collection. I love it so much, even though it's teal and colored, I find that it's a very neutral color and I am able to pair it quite well with all my different outfits. Consideration number two is leather or material. So this bag comes in different materials, leather, tweed, sequin, fabric, exotic skin. So let me just talk about leather because that is the one that most people would go for. The two leathers that Chanel uh, make the bags in would be number one in caviar leather, which is the one I have here. You can see that it's pebbled in nature, so it's a lot more scratch resistant. The second type of leather is lambskin. I know that a lot of people are afraid of buying lambskin because um, they think that it's more easily scratched and it's more fragile. I, however, do not find my lambskin bag to be easily scratchable at all. This bag is five years old. I use it very, very often. I don't baby it at all. Um, and I find that even if there are mild scratches, I can just use my fingers to rub it off and the scratch kind of fades into the bag or disappears. I do want to call out though that for exotic skin, Chanel stopped producing bags in those materials a few years ago. So if you are interested, you need to buy that in the secondhand market. For me personally, I prefer my bags to be in leather or in tweed. For the other materials that I spoke about, fabric, sequins, denim, I would not recommend for you to buy those bags as your first Chanel bag because if you look at the prices in store, the prices of these bags are very similar to the leather version and I feel that the leather classic flap holds its value much better 
and the bag also has a much better longevity. If you are really interested in the bags and the other materials, I highly recommend that you look at the secondhand market because you are able to get those bags about 50 to 60% off retail. So lesser known fact number two, do you know that 10 years ago, the Chanel classic flap in lambskin was a little bit more pricey than the version in caviar. And that is because people thought that the lambskin version looked a little bit more expensive, it was more premium, and that was the preferred option. However, if you look at the second-hand market today, you would see that the caviar Chanel flaps holds its value much better. It's priced a lot higher than the lambskin version. What I also see is that in the vintage versions, most of the bags are lambskin. So caviar is actually considered quite rare if you're looking for Chanel bags that were made 20 to 30 years ago. Now, next consideration is the design of the bag. And I think this is very closely related to the material as well. The two most common ones are quilts, which is the one I have here, and chevron, which is the version here. If the bag is in tweed or sequins, you don't find it in chevron or in um, quilts. It's hard for me to choose which one I prefer better. For me personally, I prefer um, the bag to be in caviar when it's quilted and in lambskin when it's in chevron. Next consideration is color of the hardware of the bag. In the classic range, where the bag comes in black or beige, you have two options of hardware, either in silver or in gold hardware. So for my beige Claire, I chose the gold version. I do feel that the gold hardware goes a lot better with the beige colored bag. And for the black classic flap, I do prefer it in the silver hardware. I think it gives the bag a more modern look. And if I were to get a black flap, it will be in silver hardware. Of course, there are other colors as well. Um, there is light gold hardware for some of the seasonal colors. And once in a while, Chanel produces a so black version. So that is black and metal on a matte black bag. I know that's very popular. I tried it out once in store, but I felt that it didn't really go with my style. It's a lot more cool and edgy. So if you look at my both bags, they are exact opposites. One's quilted, one's in chevron, one's gold hardware, one is silver hardware. And the other difference is the leather. So one is caviar leather and the other is lambskin. Next consideration is the size. The classic flap comes in four sizes. The small, the medium, which is the ones that I have here, the jumbo size and the maxi size. They've also introduced the square mini and the rectangular flap. Those unfortunately are not considered in the classic range because if you look in there, it's not double flat, whereas it is only a single flap. However, Chanel has produced them consistently, so most people refer to them as classics. Last consideration, which is one of the most important factors for me, is where the bag is made. So Chanel classic flaps are typically made in two locations. Number one, uh, made in France, and number two, made in Italy. By right, it shouldn't be different because Chanel has very stringent quality checks on your bags. But I find that I prefer the bags made in France. So if I'm buying a Chanel classic flap, I always check the label inside the bag on where the bag is made. And if I'm buying a beige clair or black, I would personally make sure that the bag is made in France. For seasonal bags, a lot of them are made in Italy and for those I do not really mind because very often most of them are produced in the same location, unlike the Chanel classic flap. Okay, time for me to reveal shocking unknown fact number three. As many of you would know, Chanel price increases have been crazy in the last couple of years, especially in the last two years. Now the bag costs more than $10,000 and prices only seem to go up. However, do you know that in 2017, 
Chanel actually had a price decrease for the size in small. So for the longest time, the price difference between the Chanel small and the Chanel medium was very minimal. And my SA told me that most people just went for the medium size and the small was not selling very well. So in 2017, the price difference between small and medium was 150 pounds. Now, one day when I was in Harrods, I saw the price of the Chanel small and it was going for 3,500 pounds. It actually had decreased from 3,800 pounds. So there was actually a price decrease of 300 pounds. And the moment I texted all my friends, I asked the SA, are you sure? Are you sure this is the case? And the SA said, yeah, because um, the small was not selling very well and they realized that the price difference between both sizes were not significant enough. It was such a good deal then. I was with Harrods with my girlfriends and one of them made the purchase that day. So I have a couple of screenshots that I have in my WhatsApp. I'm just going to put it right here so you are able to see the messages that transpired back then. I believe not many people know about this and to me it's truly shocking that Chanel actually had a price decrease. We've come to the end of the video. I hope that all of you have found this video helpful and you are able to make a more informed decision if you're buying your first Chanel Classic flat. Let me know down in the comments below what is your ideal combination for the Chanel Classic flat if you're looking to buy one and if you already have a classic flat bag, let me know what's next on your list or on your wish list. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell for any future updates. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.